So we started the conversation with um, Stoneboy, who has um, just released a song titled Put You. The song was released on, on um, July 20, and it has generated a lot of controversies. I mean, Obia Chenadrin, TMC Ababe Chenadrin, was. So let, let me start with him. Um, Nene, mm -hmm. how do you see the song? You see, I used to work with high grade family when Stoneboy was there. Mm -hmm. So I find it very hard to say this because I don't expect something like that from a stone boy you understand mm -hmm. a stone boy is somebody who even if he's doing something which is supposed to be commercial as they call trash these days he should have some substance like that song he did that one that had the title of the drink okay okay yeah okay. that one was a light song mm. but it still carries some lyrics but this one has nothing at all so the song is a disappointment oh he, he says it go better you think it doesn't have anything the song it's a disappointment mm. <laughs> i see Arnold. yes sir disappointment uh 50 50. okay so the 50 is for the fact that in the industry um uh, it's normal it's a normal practice to actually have whether it's a, a person's a high profile artist, mm. upcoming artist, to actually do such a song. Now, in jazz music, it becomes something we call scat singing. That you have to improvise your voice or your vocals or your lyrics. You see, in Ghana, we're introduced to this kind of songs or music making by Apitus. And then it was overly popularized by Atapa. So let's establish the fact that it's a normal phenomenon in music making. Mm -hmm. And so once you take that outside, you take that away, then you come and analyze the artist who is doing it, why he's doing it, and probably the motivation that drove him to do the song. Now, I can actually feel, I'm not surprised with the Beast comment, because when you peruse social media, you know, mainstream media, and you listen to the commentary by stakeholders within the industry, I don't know about you, but then I actually feel some level of disappointment in their commentary. So you see, they are posting some on Facebook, on Twitter, like the commentary that he just passed, mm. especially disappointed. Because for him, he's actually coming out to say it. But for many people, they are unable to actually come out and actually say they are disappointed in the kind of artist who has actually produced this kind of song. But they can actually feel it in the comments that they pass. Mm. That's the point. The issue is, in as much as we do not have a problem with the making of the song because it's a normal practice in the industry, I can understand why the likes of Lady are disappointed with Stoneboy. Because over the years, Stoneboy has been regarded as that go-to artist who would give you quality song. And so if you realized, even in his competition with Shatawali over the years, supporters of Stoneboy have always maintained the fact that that's what this guy, he does quality song. Mm. He's that guy that you can actually count on anytime you're saying, oh, who are those Ghanaian artists that do genuine, you can actually vibe with their song, can reflect on their song. That's the stone boy. And so when it comes to the likes of Shatawali, in any argument over him and stone boy, the, the stone boy for artist will say, that's for him there, he's the one who does pam, who pam, who pam. I mean, he comes out with 100 songs within a month and all that stuff. I mean, if you take a hundred songs of Shatawali, you only get like four quality, genuinely written songs. You, you see the argument. Mm -hmm. And so somewhere has been written in that regard over the years, especially when it comes to comparison. So a lot of people are now disappointed that, ah, Nipa, you, you, you do a certain level over the years. See? How do you stoop so low? That's where the disappointment stems from. Mm. But most importantly, you might not want to, you, you, could, you could also, say why would stone boy what would motivate him or drive him to do this because mind you it's not as if he's been away from the scene for a long time mm -hmm. he's hungry for attention or oh, he he needs some some he needs to train listen this gentleman has a longer junction 
an album that has, that has, that has attained critical mention. It's all over the place. Racking up numbers on audio mark, getting the mention internationally and look. So he, he, he's not hungry for attention. So the th question is, why, why would he, what would actually drive him to do this? You understand what I'm coming from? Yes. Well, what do you think uh, informed his decision? I don't know. I don't know. So I think I can understand where why he would do such a yeah. song, right? Because usually what you mentioned yeah. with jazz music, yeah. improvising, yeah. that is done in the studio and jazz artists do it on stage yes. because that is about live performance. Yeah. In live performance, you don't, people can yeah, enjoy, improvise. yeah, people can enjoy the improvision yeah. in the moment and they don't have to uh, keep it forever, right? But with this one, you know, what happens in the studio is you've, you get a vibe mm. and then you improvise certain yeah. gibberish for the vibe mm. and then you find lyrics into the mm -hmm. uh, improvisation, into the uh, debris you've improvised. That's what, that's how most artists write songs these days. And so I think that probably that was what he did. Mm. And then he played it back and probably thought that this one sounds Ooh, nice. Yeah. So I can put it out. Mm. And so, but I think that is a disservice to him. And as much as it sounds nice, it's something that sounds nice when you hear it twice, three times. But it's not something that would sound nice in two days' time. Mm. You understand? I mean, probably this week we'll talk about the song. Next week, maybe we'll talk about the song a bit. After next week, we won't talk about the song anymore. Because in the heat of the moment, it feels good. Mm -hmm. But the feeling will, work, uh, will not be sustained because there's no lyrics to get you emotionally hooked. Towards. Anod, do you like the song? It's a dance about you. I mean, there's no two ways that we say, and songs. No, that's somewhere. In, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, in the last decade or more, I mean, what, you realize that songs are now moved by the production. Mm -hmm. You know, the melody, the rhythm, and all that stuff. And that, if once that clicks, that's it. People really do not even care about the lyrics and all that stuff. And so it's a dance about him. Mm -hmm. And so it, that is working for him. And again, the humor or the, 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 the fun that's attached to the song, that's actually driving it. And most importantly, eh, I think the problem we have as Ghanaians or even as, as, as humans is our ability to accept or reject stuff. Because mind you, can you imagine if, let's say from the times of uh, Apetus, a song was rejected mm. all the way to Patapa, if Scopa sc 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 was rejected, mm -hmm. you think someone would, would tell this line? It's because we always jump on it and make it a hit. Because people are complaining, but I'm sure the handlers of Stoneboy and Stoneboy himself will be smiling, mm -hmm. saying, listen, you are complaining about the song is trending, it's number one, yeah. on, apples and all, on Apple and all that stuff. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So we are the decision makers. We drive the narrative. And over the period, we've been making this gibberish songs a success. And so the next artist who is watching the same will say, well, you love it. Why would I tell the same line? Mm -hmm. But I like when they need to be wet. And this is where it gets that. How does he affect how we perceive Stoneboy or his legacy? Mm. Maybe, maybe it does. I don't think it will affect his legacy. No. Yes, yeah. you understand. Yeah. But then, in terms of argument, that's why I said over the period when you when people are comparing him and Shatawali, one of the things that always come up is this guy. He does good songs. That's, that's good song. Now that argument has been lost because moving forward. So with just one record. It takes, um, what's the name? Was it uh, Andrew 3000 who said you are as good as your last record? Yes. Mm. It takes no matter just, how yes. good you are as an artist, if your last song was bad, yeah. everything else you've done before is bad. It takes just one, one action, one song to actually change the discussion and change the narrative. Mm. And, and probably he would not mind. I mean, but I'm sure they are, that's why I said you could actually feel the disappointment in the voices of some stakeholders who really mm. have been rooting for him over the years because they did not expect him to do this. So, I, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, it's a word for him. Right. So, um, that's it. Stoneboy, uh, Putu, I'm sure <laughs> for, for those who like the song, you'll be jamming to it. Uh, those who do not like, uh, Stoneboy has other good songs on, on his um, Alunga Junction album. Yeah. You know what's funny? There's a song on Alunga Junction which is strictly away. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't speak away. But I play that song every day. Da 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 da. Is it yeah. La La Megba? Yeah. Yeah. Da 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 da. That's my favorite yeah. song on the album. Yeah. 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 It's a nice song. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I mean, you know he's saying something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even though you don't know what he's saying, your mind, you know he's speaking no, but to you. Funny. That's how if, communication if, works. If you listen to the lyrics, and, like, goes about the word, but then some after point he said, hey, no, he said, what? We didn't say what? All right, mama. Oh. <laughs> So we, we will take a break. When we return, we delve into KSM's observation of the comedy industry and then politics. And um, we also look at whether or not the females have actually uh, reneged on their efforts in making significant improvement. 